Zombie Apocalypse. Hey guys, welcome to a new video on this channel, Chalo Gaming. Today I'm bringing you um, some gameplay of the best deck you can use right now if you want to win your first or if you want to win another classic challenge. This actually helped me because it was um, it is an amazing deck, it's very in the meta right now. Uh, you can play it against almost every deck. Um, you might not like the card because when you play against it, it's super super annoying. But when you are using it, if you want to get results, this will give you results. Today we're going to talk about Ice Bow, Skill Bow, or however you want to call it. It is um, a Rocket Cycle X Bow um, deck with Tornado and Ice Wizard, which is just dominating in the game right now. Um, I usually do gameplay on 2.6, but a lot of you guys have been telling me that you prefer uh, to watch videos about other decks as well. So here I'm bringing you one of the, de the best decks that I think you can use right now if you want to win a tournament or a classic or, if you're a bit more risky, a grand challenge. Um, so, uh, the main points you want to have and you want to keep in mind when you're playing this deck is uh, during single elixir, what you want to do is mainly defend. Um, this may be contradictory because in the gameplay you have seen me put an offensive expo, but it was because he wasn't playing anything and I had a good push going on. Um, but usually when you're in a match, the objective is that in single elixir, you uh, will just want to defend. And in double elixir is where you will start cycling, dropping a lot of expos and dealing your actual damage. With this deck, it's so easy to play and so easy to win with it because all you need is a single expo uh, lock-on and then you can just rocket cycle them out. Here you can see my biggest mistake of the game, which is uh, that I used that um, offensive expo very early in the game and he was able to benefit from that, taking my tower um, and actually getting ahead in the game um, because now we had to spend a rocket um, in order to take out his tower um, but yeah that is one of the biggest uh, mistakes you can do with this deck uh, that's why you have to remember that this deck in single elixir you have to play it super passively defend um, not not over commit an elixir and then in double elixir is when you can really uh, over commit an elixir over defend your expos and start dealing a lot of damage now usually this is this becomes a way harder matchup then you expect when you lose one of your towers, as uh, with Expo, normally the main result that comes out of these matches are 1-0 or, or yeah, that's pretty much it. Because when uh, they take a tower, they're able to put uh, cards in the pocket, uh, which are not very good uh, for your Expo, as you normally put it across the bridge. Um, but here, what you want to do is, as you can see, we're defending and we're defending successfully with our Knight, our Wizard, our, our Ice Wizard, sorry, our Tornado and everything. And then once you have defended and you have uh, troops that are alive out of um, the de defense, you can support them and drop an Expo in front of them um, in order to deal some damage and uh, start a counter push in here. Uh, we were able to do a very successful expo lock-on because whenever a, an expo is uh, successful it means that uh, you've uh, it's been able to lock on onto their tower um, and then we're able to defend uh, the P.E.K.K.A. and the graveyard successfully and um, in this case our ice wizard is not able to survive um, but we still go for the expo because it can apply some pressure and uh, pressure is always good especially in double elixir when your cards are a lot cheaper than theirs, uh, which means that you have a quicker cycle than 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 theirs. Um, here uh, we put that ex um, that expo offensively, but how watch how we put our Tesla defensively as we want to prepare for the next push, which we will actually be able to support and deal some damage with it. And watch how we haven't even uh, stopped defending and we're already on the offense. Um, and all we want to do right now is just watch how I missed that tornado. I'm sorry. Which I missed that tornado, uh, I wanted to pull the Dark Prince behind the tower so that the uh, Expo could lock on the tower, but then he placed the P.E.K.K.A. so it wasn't able to happen. But all you want to do is, um, it's just that, cycle all uh, your cards and play very aggressively. And if you notice that you cannot get past his defense, as I noticed that I couldn't get past his P.E.K.K.A., just rocket cycle them out. Here I drag the P.E.K.K.A. behind so that he cannot tank for the, for the graveyard. 
And uh, with the graveyard, it's very difficult because in uh, when you have the King Tower activation, it's a lot more difficult. And there we rock it. And look at the difference between this um, match. Just because of that rocket, we're able to win the whole match by a difference of 9 health points. That was a crazy match and it was very close. And it came into a tiebreaker, which is normally what um, uh, most of the matches come into over here. But if it makes you win a classic challenge, you don't need to complain about it. Your opponent is the one that has to complain about it because he is the one that is going to get mad at your deck. Um, here, uh, we will see a better example um, against a Golem Beatdown deck, which is supposedly very uh, difficult to beat with our deck, but you will see how it is done here. Um, what I did here is what I like to do whenever they drop a Golem or a big unit in the back is counter push on the other lane. And as you can see right here, he decided to um, not defend our expo, but actually only support his Golem to trade towers. Um, and he spends everything, and as you can see, that results in us trading towers. Um, I take his tower, he takes my right tower. Um, so now the game is 1-1. Whose fault? Who is losing right now? I'm actually the one losing, because you will figure out my attack. Uh, the good thing about an expo attack is that your opponent has to cross the bridge in order to defend it. However, when he took down your tower, you're the one that is in trouble because now their opponent, their their cards are not going to be taken out by your um, by your towers whenever they uh, cross the bridge. So that's pretty, um, <clears throat> that's pretty, it was a pretty bad play from my part, but I thought that he was going to uh, defend. So now we also have to get past a golem and look how here the golem takes a long time to get deployed. So our expo actually manages to connect, but this is what I was talking about. He can just place a mini P.E.K.K.A. right next to um, right next to our Expo and just take it out. Um, and then our, we always want to defend the Tesla. The Tesla provides so much uh, defensive value. And then for the Night Witch, you can always just rocket her and then tornado all the little bats out of the way. Um, it's a bit expensive, but as you can see, we actually managed to take uh, the Golem and change him uh, into the other lane. Because what he's trying to do is he's trying to 3 crown us. And uh, as you can see, this game is not going to go well because he's not placing um, golems in the back. He's actually placing them at the front. Why is he doing this? He's doing this so that um, our expo doesn't have time to lock on and the goal it can uh, to lock onto the tower and it will lock into his um, expo uh, into his golem every single time. Uh, so he's playing that very well. And now we're just trying to defend. And after we've defended, what do we do? we go with an offensive expo with the troops that we have left and see how successful it is that this time uh, we can get into the tower and that rocket is value as it kills a baby dragon and a night witch. Uh, the favorite combo I said in the last video as well, I did a video talking about how this deck did very well in the no tilt challenge and it could do well in future global tournaments if they, they do not nerf it. Um, you can see that uh, the one of the best defensive combos in the whole game it's my opinion, is when you throw a rocket into a place and you tornado all the troops uh, into their tornado, which uh, you will, I think you will see right now, I'm not really sure, but it is a, it is a very expensive play, but you can kill almost everything that is, um, you can pr probably kill almost everything that is inside the, that tornado that you throw. Here uh, you will see that I throw a tornado, uh, a rocket, but I don't have to tornado it because everything is close by, and then I tornado when the bats come out. Um, but right here you can see we have the damage lead, but in as the game progresses, he is the one that is only attacking. I'm only getting chip damage with my logs, which is extremely important, and I'm only rocketing on defense. But here I say I have to go in all out or else he will be able to take me out. So I uh, chip damage with my log, tornado everything back so that they cannot reach, and just use my chip cards. Uh, with the Ice Wizard that slows everything down so that their units cannot get to our tower and we're able to cycle to another rocket and that wins us the game with, without having to go into a tiebreaker. So that's what you want to have wanna do uh, when you're able to cycle two rockets and you see that they're building up a big push, just go straight for the um, spell cycle and you can beat them at that because that's what this deck is for. You can just beat them at overtime and uh, with Spell Cycle, which is super annoying because he can't really do anything about it. But you will be laughing in the end, even though he will he will probably have smashed his, uh, his phone or his tablet, whatever he's playing on. 
Um, however, if you're the one that's winning, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, as long as Supercell doesn't nerf this deck, you will be able to rely on it. Here, I did, I played it wrong because what you want to do is you never want to play an expo before you know what your opponent is doing. However, it, it turns out well as uh, the expo actually does a lot of damage on his golem and I'm able to um, defend properly um, against this deck. Um, but that's just because of the uh, defensive value that the rocket provides you. Um, However, what, what you want to play is at the start of each um, of each match, you always want to play super passively, super defensively. Never play an expo until you know what they have. Um, if they have a golem, then you want to play a defensive expo. Um, or just play on the other lane and uh, defend always with that rocket tornado, which you have seen that can provide you so much value. And whenever you know what they have, then you can start defending and in overtime is when you are going to start do dealing damage uh, to your opponents. Um, so here, uh, as you can see, this is our defensive um, expo and we placed it there because the tower that he was attacking was the left one. And if you place it right where this expo is placed, which is touching corners with uh, one of the towers, you can actually um, force them. It's a 90 lightning and anti-poison uh, a location which means that they cannot lightning the left tower and the expo where it is um, at the same time so they will have to choose to lightning the other tower or to just not tight not lightning um, and here to prepare against uh, the golem as always you can just uh, start preparing your defenses the ice wizard the tesla the knight and if they start accumulating a lot of troops behind uh, their golem you can always go in with for a rocket like we just did here gives you so much value and the whole push is just destroyed and then the tornado to take out uh, the bats it is super easy uh, the only problem against golem decks is that the hard time you have it uh, attacking them because the golem can tank so well um, for the expo shots uh, but as long as you keep your defense and start getting and keep getting um, chip damage you will do alright um, what you want to do is you want to out cycle them since your deck will most likely be a lot more a lot cheaper than theirs um, so that's what you will want to be able to do um, and then just tornado everything outside so that the death damage of the golem doesn't really get into your tower which is very important and then once you've defended a push what do you do again you try and go for an expo or a rocket uh, depends what you're feeling um, to get some uh, damage on their tower this time as we know that he's gonna play um, a golem in front of the tower has, as he's been doing all the uh, match we just wanna uh, keep doing chip damage with our logs and not place an expo or else he it would have been useless and he would have just eaten the, up that six elixir and just accumulate ice wizards because that's the play and when you have more than one or two ice wizards and you place an, uh, an expo in front it can give you so much value um, and only go for um, an offensive uh, Tesla, as I've done here, when you know you have a very big um, elixir advantage. And look here how he plays the golem late, and our expo is actually able to um, lock onto the tower. However, he lightnings there um, in order to shut it down, or else he would have lost the game in that push right now. And now all we have to do is defend, as we already have the elixir, uh, the damage advantage. And you always want to remember that even if you're losing in... In damage at the end of the game uh, you can be losing by 400 damage and you will still be able to win the game if you're able to drop a late rocket into their tower in one of the last uh, seconds of overtime however you need to be very well rested to play this deck because every single one of the games that I've played goes into overtime and even though you win it it's very stressful so you want to be well rested and take good care of yourself before um, so you will see that this match, there's only 20 seconds left. I don't think anybody is going to take the tower. He's just uh, pushing as he knows that no golem is going to get to our tower. So he's just uh, doing pushes just to try anything uh, can happen. And there our rocket is able to reduce the tower to a lot less than he can afford. So that's how you do this. I got to 11 wins, but I, I was able to get the 12 wins. I just played it wrong. Uh, so uh, you will be able to get the 12 wins. Um... So thank you for watching, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video if you enjoyed and uh, if you like the new overlay please comment um, on it and uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next time, I hope you enjoyed.